Hey guys, it's been roughly four to six weeks since my last video. Uh, we've recently had a string of really bad weather. I had to work a little bit extra during that time, but I want to give you guys an update on my garden and show you what I'm doing to move into the summer. All right, so this is the first four by eight bed. I planted some squash here. I ended up having to reseed it just directly into the bed just because the first ones didn't really take. And then I have my eggplant and beans. Now these beans are supposed to be bush beans, but if you look in there, you can see a lot of beans actually already growing. And I really wish the plant would get, I don't know, two or three times this size before they started putting out beans, but this is the okra. Pretty soon I'll have to do a spray for worms and aphids in there, but so far I haven't had too much issues. I did seed a few extra plants here. Um, I had one or two die. So I replaced those. My dahlias I bought. I have labyrinth and advanced. I'm not exactly sure which ones are which. We'll have to see when they start flowering. Corn has been taking a beating with all this weather. I lost a few stalks. But you can see right there it's starting to put out some seed heads. Cayenne peppers on the end here got cut out. And I wanted them to start bushing up. You can see a few peppers there, but overall they haven't started yet. Uh, the two next to it is ghost peppers. They are super bushy. And then these four are my Carolina Reapers for my pickled quail eggs. I did end up planting my flowers as well. The seeds it took really good weather beat these down pretty bad but overall not too bad I have about eight purple martins hanging out you can hear one of them making a bunch of racket all right so now that the updates done what we're gonna do is we're gonna put more of that uh, drip tubing I really want to get away from spraying during the heat of the summer I'd rather just have a, all the drip tubes laid out and I did 12 inch spacing on my last drip tubes but I think I want to do four inch just because if I have beans or radishes or beets or something that spacing is four inches I think that'll give me a better um, better spacing on there so we'll go inside and get those rolling all right I got all my pieces laid out here I have my cutters my drip tubing that has four inch spaces right here I have some couplers to put it into the main tubes and then I'm going to plug all the ends with a uh, plug piece. These will be measured four feet long. Plug on one end, coupler on the other. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and make all these up. And then we'll go outside and put them all in. I want to take a minute just to show the difference in the two different couplings I have. And which one's a lot easier to work with. So the one in my right hand. See if it'll focus has a pointed edge and it's kind of slanted and the one in my left hand see if it'll focus there we go does not have that pointed edge and the, the one without the pointed edge probably holds a little bit better but it is a lot harder to shove into the end of that uh, brown tubing so yeah you can see that slight edge here and then this one doesn't have it so if you're looking for couplings I would always go with this one that has that kind of slanted side makes it a lot easier on your fingers all right so the only thing we have to do to install these is I'm gonna let it run right through here next to these I have my hole poker I guess you can call it all you have to do is press this against the uh, tubing poke the hole in and then you can run your uh, coupler in so I'll go ahead poke the hole then we'll take one of our tubes get the end with the coupler and just go ahead poke it in and then I'll go back and uh, stretch these out maybe I'll probably put a little bit of soil 
on the ports they don't have holes just to hold them in place until they kind of stretch out and stay where they're supposed to but that's it i'm gonna put four on this bed four next to my peppers if i have any left i'll go ahead and uh fill in some gaps i have all right so we got everything done i did end up with a few extra pieces that i made but I don't see where I need them right now, so I think I'm gonna wait till the fall when I get my beets, my mustard greens, my radishes into the ground and see where I could use a few more drips. Um, I did end up having to use those um, little stakes you can buy to hold down either uh, weed cloth or these types of things. I didn't want to put any dirt on top of the middle. So if it was on the end, I didn't mind burying it a little bit. I'm never gonna plant right next to my edge. But if it was in the middle, I did go ahead and put some of those little stakes in there, just so that when the water drips out, it's not gonna run down out from that drip spot. I want it wherever the hole is, that's where I want it to actually water. So I did end up using some of those. But other than that, we're good. And I'll give you guys an update later, thanks.